Welcome to this next video here from Howard Piano Industries. Um, what we're going to be do showing you today is how to measure uh, string height inside of a piano <clears throat> when you're going to be doing some regulating work on a um, grand piano with the action on the workbench rather than doing the regulating with the um, action in the piano. Then uh, you need to take some measurements and, and uh, set up the string height on your workbench. Um, you know, and there's some different tools you can use for doing that. Um, we're going to show you how to do that today. <clears throat> we're we're going we're to be, um, we've got the action taken out of this grand piano and uh, we're preparing to do some regulation work on it. But um, what I'm going to show you first here is um, we've got, uh, we sell a, a Jaris um, uh, regulating um, regulating tool and this, this uh, it's a four, it's called four in one regulating tool. Um, but this right here is the main main part of it, and uh, what this is, it's got the end on it that we're going to be using for um, measuring the string height. <clears throat> okay, and what it does is it's got uh, this thing, when I loosen it up here, I've got it tightened, but I'll loosen it up. When I lo once I loosen it up, it'll, uh, this will, it's a, there's a spring inside there that allows this to go up and down and it actually pushes this uh, plunger up so that um, you know it can rest up against the string. So once I've got it up against the string, and I'll show you in a moment how we do that, then we look at this little pin down here. Okay, there's a pin um, that moves up and down with, with this to uh, show what the height is. Okay, so this is set up, and this uh, ruler here is set up so that um, when we've got it set, and what, what I'll do is once I've got got it in the piano and I've got the plunger up against the strings and what you're going to do is you're going to measure um, the height uh, at each the, uh, the low and the end uh, the low and the high string of each section okay and so we're, we're going to show you on the middle section of the piano here but um, you do it on the bass and the treble and the, and the mid section um, uh, the lowest and the highest note okay so when you're setting up your your regulating uh, jig that um, you know you could set set the height of this of the um, hammer height or the string height uh, you know for your simulation in the workshop for making the regulation adjustments. So um, I'm going to go ahead. I have to use both hands for this, but I'm going to loosen this this collet right here. Okay, so now that I've got that uh, loosened up, I'm going to set. Um, set the gauge in here and I'm going to, have to pull down on this plunger so that I'm trying to get the camera in a place that you can see what's going on here. Okay, and I'll hold the plunger down and I'll get it in place and I'll show you just a minute. Um, set it so the plunger is up against the strings. Okay, so as you can see I've got the bottom of that plunger right up against the the bottom of the bottom edge of those those strings, and this is the lowest um, note for for this middle section. Um, and then once I do that, I'm going to tighten up this this collet, okay, so that when I to go to take take it out, okay, so now it's tightened, so that when I go to take it out it's going to hold its position. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to look um, at, here's the pin right here. Okay, and as you can see in the video, that that's right between um, those two lines there. Okay, and these each line is a sixteenth of an inch, so um, we're going to, we're looking at that about seven and twenty-one 30 seconds, okay, because we've got um, the half inch there, which would be 16, 30 seconds, um, or if we go by 16, so let's go by 16, so a half inch would be 8, eight sixteenths, the next would be 9 sixteenths, the next would be 10 sixteenths, um, and then it's right between 10 and 11 sixteenths, so if we converted that to 30 seconds, uh, 10 sixteenths would be 20, 30 seconds, and if we go up one more, one more 30 seconds, that'd be 21, 30 seconds. Okay, so we want to remember it's between those two, 
two lines, um, the tenth and eleventh um, line up from seven. So se we'll say seven and twenty-one thirty seconds is what I'm going to write down as my measurement on the string height. You know, from the and this is from the key bed um, up to the string. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go down here and do it, and it usually isn't the same measurement. Um, on the opposite uh, on the opposite end, it's it's usually pretty close, but um, uh, it's not usually exact. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and tighten that up, and so we're going to see what uh, measurement we've got there. And there, let's see, our pin is right there. And there, we're um, Yeah, we're one one we're one thirty seconds, so we're up to that next line, which would be you know five five eighths or um, I'm sorry, we're 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 down to that next to the line below the, where we were. We were we were right up just above that line that we're that the pin is at um, on the lower section. So this one is one thirty second inch lower than the the uh, strings on the on the bottom of this section. So. So we're going to use that those measurements uh, to set up our jig, um, which we'll show you in the next part of the video. Uh, setting setting that um, string height uh, gauge on, on the workbench for us to be able to make our uh, regulation adjustments with this Jaris uh, four in one regulating let off rack. So we'll show you that in the next part. Okay, so here we've taken our video uh, back to our workshop um, where we took. Um, the part of the uh, tool that we were using to measure the string height um, in the piano, and we've um, um, converted that to our uh, let-off rack here, or regulating rack. So um, what I did is, um, and there's two of two of these uh, these pieces here that uh, we used for measuring. The only difference now is I've changed uh, this piece here. Um, as you can see, it, before it had um, it had a plunger on the top, and it was uh, just flat on the top here, which went up against the string. But uh, and then it showed us over here on the on the ruler what um, you know what the height of the string was. But now we've got it so that uh, it comes with this. This is a separate piece that uh, you know we replaced the other piece, and it comes up and makes an L so that it can come out here, and we can. Um, we can have one on each side, and what I did is this one I set at the height of the um, of the the lower end, the lower string, and that's in that middle section, which was seven and twenty-one thirty seconds inch. And this one over here, I set at seven and five eighths, which is what the measurement we had was. Okay, so that's going to simulate uh, the string height. And then what we can do is this um, this bar up here. Okay, that uh, that's going to simulate our string um, string level. Okay, or our string line. So, when what what we'll do is we'll put the action on the bench, and this will sit behind it, so that this bar sits right above the um, the hammers. Okay, so where the, it's going to simulate uh, the hammers coming up and and the striking the strings. Obviously, it won't make any notes like it would normally if it was striking the strings, but uh, it'll. Make the action act as if um, if it was hitting the strings rather than just be able to fly up in the air. So it better simulates. And what we can use is we can use this as our point of let off and uh, drop and um, you know back check distance and all those kinds of th regulation adjustments that we're going to make. So um, so we've uh, we've set that uh, set that up and, and got this tool. This is called the Jaris Four in One Let Off Regulating Rack. Uh, we sell this in our online store at howardpianoindustries.com, um, but uh, that's how that's how we use it, and, and uh, it's a good uh, tool for for using uh, for making regulation adjustments on a grand piano. So uh, feel free to let us know if you have any questions. Otherwise, our website is howardpianoindustries.com.